Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. This is the first video I've done where you've seen my face, so I hope it's not too scary. I'd like to wish you all a happy new year and hope that 2021 brings you all whatever you wish for. I'm going to just talk through a couple of my goals for 2021 and uh, just give you a little bit of information about myself. So first of all, excuse the hair. Um, I've recently finished treatment for a second bout of cancer. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2012 originally and um, I had uh, endometrial cancer last year. I was diagnosed in April and I finished treatment uh, towards the end of November and my hair is just starting to grow back. I'm really pleased because they said that it might not grow back. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. Uh, goals for 2021. I want to be uh, accountable to myself, which is one reason why I'm starting this channel. Um, I want to sort of document my journey and just try to become a better person. Um, in real life, I am a bit of a procrastinator. I think about lots of things. I have lots of ideas of things I want to do, but actually when it comes to doing them, um, I don't follow through. So this is why I'm making this film today. Uh, to share with myself and the two of you that may be watching some of the goals that I have for 2021. So I would like to produce more content for YouTube. Um, again, this is for personal reasons. It's just to keep a, a track of myself and see how I develop and grow as a person. Um, I am quite old compared to a lot of YouTubers. Um, so yeah, I I don't want to waste my life anymore. I feel like in the last five years or so I've coasted, I haven't done anything that I'm particularly proud of um, and I would like to use YouTube as a way of documenting small, um, small goals that I achieve. I am a very creative and crafty kind of person and I want to develop that into some kind of business if I can. So one of the things I'm going to be doing is opening an Etsy store. Um, my first uh, item that I'm going to put on there is some cards and I'm going to target the Valentine's Day market and then the second thing I'm going to aim for is Mother's Day um, and then just slowly but surely build up items on my Etsy store. The other thing that I want to do is uh, take up writing again. I did lots of writing um, 15, 20 years ago, I did a lot. I wrote a lot of short stories. There was a fantastic website that the BBC hosted called Get Writing, where you were able to upload uh, your your fiction, uh, short story fiction, or poetry, or um, short articles. And I uploaded all of my stories onto there. Sadly, that was something that the BBC cut back um, a long time ago, and um, it, I found it really useful. Again accountability, having somewhere where I could upload my work and have people comment on it was very uh, inspiring and was a driver in me being creative. So I'd like to take up writing again. Um, I am a musician, I have a degree in performing arts where music was my main subject and I was a music and drama teacher in a high school, secondary school uh, for almost 30 years. I do still teach part-time uh, for a company called Theatre Train. I teach drama to six to 18 year olds on a Saturday morning when we're able in these uncertain times. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Zoom lessons which again has pushed me to think of different ways of teaching. So I want to build up my musicianship skills again. I've been very lax on that. Um, I haven't played the piano or clarinet uh, very frequently in 2020. And that's something that I want to do in 2021. The other thing I'm interested in, um, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about this, is setting up a drop shipping store. Um, but I'm, again, this is where I procrastinate because when I first heard uh, Mama Fur, I think it was, talk about it, I thought, oh, that sounds really interesting. And I am creative and I can put a design together and um, to use different software and apps to create products sounded quite interesting and then I heard a lot of negative um, comments about drop shipping and I think if I do my research and find good quality products um, and obviously not ship from China um, it may be an avenue that I 
that I explore. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to share with you today is some happy mail. So um, I've been following a lot of YouTubers that are knitters and uh, fibre artists. And one of the things that I missed out on was a yarn advent. And um, I've watched a lot of Vlogmases and was very jealous of all of these people unboxing on a daily basis their yarn advents. And obviously a lot of these are from indie dyers and they have um, you know, a limited amount of product to sell. Um, so they were all gone. But I did find a Christmas Eve box on a company called Yarn Works. And I just want to share with you what was in my Christmas Eve box. So it came in this beautiful silver box and it was tied with this gorgeous olive green ribbon, which of course being a thrifty crafter, I shall keep and use for other things. Lovely silver box, uh, I shall obviously find a use for, but what was inside it? So they promised um, a sock yarn, a mini skein and a candle and they said that there would be some extra goodies. So that was the surprise element. First of all, there's this gorgeous bright red yarn. It's called uh, Practi Practically Perfect Sock. It is 80% merino and 20% nylon. So that makes it washable at 30 degrees in the machine. Um, it, the colorway is called Stiletto and there are 400 yards to 100 grams. And the squishiness and softness of this is absolutely beautiful. So it's called Emma's Yarn, Perfectly Practical Socks. So that is a winner. Obviously, Christmas socks. Uh, I think everybody next year is gonna be getting, or this year, because we're now in 2021, it's the 2nd of January. Um, I think lots of people are gonna be getting socks next year. So that's the first thing that was in my box. Then this is this gorgeous little mini skein. Look at that. Obviously Christmas vibes going on there. I don't think I'm going to add this to the sock um, because I don't like the stark contrast. I think if I was going to do a sock, I would do the heel and toe in the red and the main body in, the, in this gorgeous colourway. But this is a 20 gram mini skein. And it's called Christmas Sprinkles. Again, like the first one, it is 80% merino wool, 20% nylon. And again, it is really squishy. So I'm thinking little Christmas uh, ornaments. I've got a lovely pattern saved in my Ravelry library of a Christmas garland. So that might be something I use for that. They promised a candle and this is it. Oh, if you could smell this. It is very much like the White Company winter scent. It is actually called winter and it's got a really nice scent of cloves and uh, orange, that citrus going through there, really, really Christmassy. Uh, it's smaller than the White Company candle and the actual company is called the White Candle Company. So don't get confused with White Company the White Candle Company and that is gorgeous. I think I prefer that to Winter from the White Company actually. Mm, lovely. Then we had a little pouch. So this is where we get into the surprise element now. Little organza type pouch and then for anybody that knits with natural fibre there is um, some rinse delicate wash there so the idea behind this is that you put this in your water you soak your garment before blocking and you don't need to rinse the this product out so there's that then we've got a cute little tin that has got stitch markers in it i'm always losing stitch markers so these are kind of like the um hook type they will come in very handy because I'm just about to cast on something which I'll share with you in a minute. So there's that, that's a surprise element. And then a cute little button that just says, handmade with love. So that was part of the surprise element. And then Maltesers. Festive reindeers, mini reindeers, I think that they might be uh, 
making their way into my mouth with a nice cup of coffee in a minute. So that was what was in my Christmas Eve box. I'll just move that out of the way. Then um, I've been a member of Ravelry for a very long time. I'm not very active on the community there. Um, but one thing I've never ever done is a mystery knit along. So I was searching and I found a mystery knit along called Hopeful uh, by, uh, I think her name is Heather Anderson. It's Hopeful Cow Mystery Knit Along and the first clue was published yesterday. The pattern is now $5 but I bought it before Christmas. If you purchased it before December the 25th it was a dollar which works out in the UK at about 76, 78 pence. Um, and I think there are four or five clues released throughout January to make the Hopeful Cow. And I've just printed off the first set of instructions. Um, I'm quite intrigued by this because it's going to give me a little bit of um, stretch and challenge. So for example, the cast on is an I cord cast on and I've never ever done one of those. Um, so that is gonna be challenging. I was tempted to buy the yarn that she suggested, but naughty crafter that I am, I have got lots of yarn in my stash. So I was looking for something that was quite neutral. It didn't have too much of a um, bold pattern. And I found this which is from the Skein Queen. I couldn't tell you how long ago I bought it, but look at the gorgeous pinky peachy colours in that. And this is called Conch Shell. It's, uh, again, 435 yards for 100 grams. That's going to be plenty for this pattern. I'll have a little bit left over. It's 80% merino and 20% cashmere. So I will have to be very careful how I wash this. 20% cashmere gives it a really really nice feel against the neck and um, yeah I really really like that so I will keep you updated with my progress on that I'm going to aim to cast this on today it's knit in the round I have knit in the round before um, so I'm looking forward to doing that again so I'll just move that out of the way the other thing that um, I talked about earlier was setting up an Etsy shop with um, handmade cards so I'll be putting other things on there as well some of my knitting perhaps uh, some of my jewelry making I am a serial crafter I go through phases of things um, but I'm very much looking forward to getting my fingers inky and dirty again and I've purchased a few things uh, to add to my ever-increasing stash you might just be able to see behind me behind me um, um, storage unit with lots of paper and crafting stuff in so i am going to have a d stash this year um but i've got lots of stuff but i've bought no paper or card my husband will be pleased to know i've just bought things that are going to add to my creativity and last for a long time so i've got a few more things to come but i've got three parcels two of which um have arrived this morning so i'm just going to cut into this first one. I've no idea who this is from. It hasn't got any information on the packaging. Being careful not to show you my other ah, are. This is from a very um, sweet company that I've used before. I love their stamps. It's a company called Inky Doodles. Uh, sadly, the founder um, died a couple of years ago. She was a lovely, lovely lady that I met in person at a craft fair and um, she did um, some TV appearances on um, Create and Craft. Lovely, lovely lady. And I think her daughter and one of her friends is keeping the company going, which is really, really sweet. So, card making in mind. Um, these you are free to use um, in any of your designs and sell them. Uh, there's no copyright issues there. Um, so just a little one for boys, rubber stamps, these are clear polymer, you mount them on an acrylic block or put them in a stamp platform. So this is like a, sorry that the text will be backwards, um, little rocket ship one. The reason I bought that one was it got a little stamp on it I plan to use in Valentine's cards which has got love you deeply. So that's that one and a lot of these were on sale so very reasonably priced 
Um, I bought this one because it's got lots of little stamps which you can use for background um, inking. But also, look at the cute little polar bear there. Oh, my cat's just jumped up. She might make an appearance in a minute. So there's that one. Lots of Christmas images on there. It's kind of like um, American design feel. Like, uh, oh, here she is. Hello. <laughs> She's probably going to knock my phone off. Hold on. I've got this balanced precariously. My husband will go mad because he's found me a tripod and given me a mount. But I've got this on a little... <laughs> Blue. Come on, away you go, away you go. There she goes. Um, anyway, back to the rubber stamps. So this is lovely because it's got some, you can't see because it's backwards, it's got some word stamps, but I love this cute little bird and the little stitched heart. And this I thought would be quite cute for romantic cards or weddings or whatever with the right sentiment underneath. Um, I did make a video two years ago where I showed some cards that I made for a local retailer to resell um, and I used a lot of Inky Doodles stamps in that. My style is very simple, um, quite crisp, um, so although some of these designs look fussy, I will be using them in a very simplistic way. And then I thought this would, was quite cute for baby cards. There's... Um, some nice little sentiments on it but one of the reasons I bought it was this little cute bunny here love that little bunny I can imagine that on new baby cards so I probably won't use everything but you see this cloud could be used for a whole host of things and again there's a little heart that I might use on valentine's cards wedding cards whatever so that's what I've got from Inky Doodles we move that out of the way then um this is from Charmed Cards and Crafts. I think I only bought this yesterday. Let me just come in with my scissors if I can and open this. I can't, you know, I've ordered that much stuff recently. I can't remember what I've ordered. I can't get in. There we go. Probably an easier way of opening it, but I'm just trying to hide my address from you. Oh, okay, here we go. Little handwritten note I can see that says thanks. That's one thing I'm going to do when I sell things is make sure there's a little bit of person, personal touch. So thanks so much, Ashley. Happy New Year. Stay safe. Ah, yes. Okay, so, oh got a little freebie let's put that out of the way because it's got my dress on it I've got these flocked peel offs <laughs> they're quite cute um put them on labels or something for christmas presents i don't i wouldn't use them in my cards i don't think but little freebie always like that so these are some stamps by somebody called uh, Jofa Young and she designs for a company called Paper Artsy who have some very nice designs. They have a lot of different designers um, with very different styles. So, But I like Jofa Young because she's quite, um, what's the word? Again, plain and simple and quite ditzy in her designs. This one isn't a Joe Firthian, this is just a paper artsy plain one. But these you you cut out um, and use with a repositionable spray on an acrylic block. But again, I bought them for the hearts, um, for Valentine's cards. And then see this big heart here, I could stamp onto um, a hand watercoloured background. Um, and again, I'll be doing some videos showing you how I create my backgrounds. So that's that one. Actually, none of these are um, Jo Firth Young. They're coming from a different different company. Again, Paper Artsy, but um, a different company. And then this is Paper Artsy as well. So the same thing, you cut the designs out. So there's the trees, which I quite like. Again, they're um, 
quite simplistic and you can just colour them in or again just stamp onto an already coloured background and then there's a sentiment underneath which you can't see because it's backwards it says love goodwill cinnamon spice stockings peace joy noel hope ho 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 this one's called egg and nog one the other one was called love and kisses two and these are by somebody called squiggly ink produced for paper artsy um with this sentiment one, you could stamp that and cut out the separate little sentiments. So that's quite good. Um, this I thought was quite sweet. And yeah, this is again squiggly, squiggly ink. From this day forward, you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. So again, it's backwards. There's no point in showing you that. Then this last one, this arrived today. I will have more unboxing to show you. I have a, I have a feeling that this might be also a paper artsy stamp that is very not my style, but I just fell in love with it. Let me see, is it? No, it's not. Ah, gosh, this came really quickly. So I was watching somebody on YouTube been watching lots of craft videos and my husband's gone mad at me so why watch all these videos actually get on and create something so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to start Monday the 4th of January that is my working week I'm going to have a schedule I'm also going to get on top of my house because um, we had a good clean for Christmas but um, it's back to normal now so I need to get on top of my house but that's another story uh, this is uh, craft for less that I bought these from and I saw somebody on YouTube I forget who now um really sorry about that but she made this cute um ornament and what she'd done was she'd taken some silver sparkly glitter paper which I've got plenty of in my stash and and she created a background using alcohol inks on it so that you got different colors in the silver and it and it was really nice and she used that with these dies so these are dies so um you've got snow globe um and this creates like a 3d embellishment and you've got little critters that you could use if you wanted to but i liked this which is just very simple it allows you to create a layer so you get a dimensional um, object and she tied it together with twine to make this little ornament which I thought was just so so cute I'm definitely going to be making some of these for Christmas with different backgrounds but you can see you've got a little house there little trees and Santa with his sleigh so that's something I'm definitely going to be doing in the new year so thank you so much so much for sticking with me um, I've got a lot to learn about YouTube films um, I want to be able to edit, I want to be able to have, like lots of people do, a, a front page or, you know, a, a starter to the video um, and maybe put some music, particularly when I'm crafting, you're not going to want to see me do the whole process necessarily, so I've seen lots of YouTubers um, speed the process up, so you can still see what's happening but they put music over it or do a voiceover, so um, yeah, so that's that. So come chat with me in the future, come craft with me, come knit with me um, and let's have some fun and make 2021 a really good year. Please like, it does help with the YouTube algorithms. Somebody liked one of my obscure videos and I got a new subscriber from it. My aim um, last year was to go from nine subscribers to double figures. I'm now on 22 subscribers, which in about 10 days is pretty good going for a really, really small channel like me. So if you like this, please like, share and above all, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.